Okay, in this video we're going to continue our discussion on transformations and we're going to look at the second type of transformation known as a reflection. I want you to understand that a reflection kind of goes along with the mirror image type concept that uh, we're going to simply draw a line. In this case it's going to be the y-axis, so I'll just draw a line on the y-axis and I'm going to pretend that that's the folding line. So if I were to fold along that line then I want to look for the reflection points. So imagine taking a paintbrush to those three red dots and when you fold it along that blue line where will the resulting uh, images be as a result of that fold? Um, so let's just take a look at that first point. If I were to reflect that over the uh, y-axis my new point would be at negative 2, 3. 0, 0 is, is uh, an interesting value because it doesn't have a reflection point because it's on the line of symmetry. The third point, negative 4, 2, when I reflect it over the y-axis, it becomes positive 4, 2. So let's take a look and inspect those two xy charts. Which value changed? Was it the x value or the y value or neither? Well, as you can see, the y values remained the same, 302. But the x values, uh, in particular the first and the third coordinates, changed to their opposite value. So we're going to say that the x coordinate changed. Now I want you to make note of the fact that it was the y axis that we folded on, but it was the x coordinate that changed. So how can we find the answer without graphing? Well, we just simply negate the x value. And that's how you would find the reflection point. Now let's take a look at reflecting the point over the x-axis. So once again, I'm going to draw this imaginary folding line on the x-axis. And I want to see what would ha where those red dots would wind up if I were to paint them and fold it over the x-axis, where would the reflection image be? So on that first point, when I choose it, it starts out again at 2, 3. When I reflect it, it's 2, negative 3. So the x value remained the same, but the y value was the um, opposite. Again, 0, 0 was on the folding line, and so there's no change. And then in the third point, negative 4, 2 becomes negative 4, negative 2. So again, which coordinate changed? Well, it wasn't the x coordinate this time, it was the y. So how can we find the answer without graphing? We just simply negate the y values. So in conclusion, when reflecting over the y axis, you negate the x values. When reflecting over the x axis, you negate the y values. And that's where we're going to end this video, and we'll conclude in the next video with uh, stretches and compressions.